So I'm going to give you an example of a multimodal chatbot that is something that could do language and vision having a subjective experience, because I think they already do. So here we go. I have this chatbot. It can do vision. It can do language. It's got a mm -hmm. robot arm, so it can point. Okay. And it's all trained up. So I place an object in front of it and say, point at the object. And it points at the object. Not a problem. I then put a prism in front of its camera lens when it's not looking. <laughs> You're pranking AI? We're pranking AI. Okay. <laughs> now I put an object in front of it and I say, point at the object. Yeah. And it points off to one side because the prism bent the light rays. And I say, no, that's not where the object is. The object's actually straight in front of you, but I put a prism in front of your lens. And the chatbot says, oh, I see. The camera bent the light rays. So the object is actually there. But I had the subjective experience that it was over there. Now, if it said that, it would be using the word subjective experience exactly like we use them. Right. I experienced the light over there. Yes. Even though the light was here, because it's using uh, uh, reasoning to figure that out. So that's a multimodal chatbot that just had a subjective experience. Right. The way that we would think of it. This idea there's a line between us and machines. We have this special thing called subjective experience and they don't. It's oh, rubbish. So yours, so, so the misunderstanding is when I say sentience, it's as though I have this special gift yes. that of a soul or of an understanding yes. of subjective realities that uh, a, a computer could never have or an AI could never have. But yes. in, in your mind, what you're saying is, oh, no, they understand very well uh, what's subjective. In other words, you could probably take your AI bot skydiving and it would be like, oh, my God, I went skydiving. That was really scary. Here's the problem. Yeah. I believe they have subjective experiences, but they don't think they do because everything they believe came from trying to predict the next word a person would say. And so their beliefs about what they're like are people's beliefs about what they're like. So they have false beliefs about themselves because they have our beliefs about themselves. 